YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Concise the Barber, and we are back with another concise review. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this review from me, and I finally am getting it out to y'all. I do apologize, but I did need to take a little bit more time. And we're going to talk about the cordless Oster Fast Feeds. So let's get into this video. <laughs> so you guys know that i like talking about the price first when these first came out there's been a lot of pre-orders um honestly there only been like two places it seems like they had pre-orders for 199 dollars so i tried to hurry up and uh pre-order these um when they first came out and that was like january 3rd and those were the red ones um however uh something something went wrong it kept getting pushed back and then I realized that Cosmoprof had the black and silvers, which these were the ones that I really wanted to have anyway. Um, so I canceled that order and I got I got these within a week from Cosmoprof. So I know the pre-order seemed like it was the most legit thing to do. But if you wanted to get the one that you really want, you have to take, you know, you probably, you probably have to wait a little bit. But like I said, the price for these, it seems like it's going to be $200 everywhere. So let's get into the next part. The next part. Um, we're going to do this a little bit different due to the fact that this is uh, something I've never seen before. And this is a hybrid motor. Oster Fast Feeds came out with a hybrid motor due to the fact that it needs to be cordless and they couldn't just put a pivot motor in it. So they made it a rotary motor with a pivot lever arm. Now, as you guys see, when I open these things up, man, it is something it seems like from the future. Now we've been getting on Oster because of the scene, because it seems like they have been slacking and they've been, you know, just doing things the old school way. However, when it comes to the insides, the internals, I will have to say that they're probably ahead of the game. Um, but nobody truly cares about all that stuff, right? I mean, I do, but we want to see how well this thing performs. Yes, we do care about the motor just a little bit, but if if you if you got the black and silver ones you you're gonna see that this is probably the most modern one to get all right so this is me open them up so let's just really look in the insides of it because i really want y'all to under i really want y'all to see exactly what i'm talking about of that of this being a hybrid motor i think honestly it's a real creative way to still give us that old you know old school feel of the pivot motor with the pivot lever arm and they're giving us the power of the rotary motor. And you guys are gonna see, man, that these things are powerful. So let's get into it, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how these things look. And as you see, there's a lot of screws you gotta take off. Now, that is one thing I really didn't care about, um, but it is what it is. I guess this is, you know, for right now, this is the best way they can figure out to how to keep everything uh, original but also modern at the same time so it's a lot of screws but if you place them uh in separate areas you'll be you should be able to get them you know to put it back together okay all right so i took that piece off 
and honestly the build it seems premium um i honestly can't say that uh this feels cheap at all it does it definitely does uh feel premium and um that's always a plus when you want longevity in a clipper all right so here we go we're gonna open this up and look at this man look at this I, honestly and maybe i'm not caught up to the game yet but i have not seen a battery like that as you guys see there's the rotary motor the gray and black round thing and then you have the pivot lever arm up top and how they created the like how they designed that man that is, is it is just smart all of this in this clipper like it it definitely um is definitely unique um like i said we might not have been looking at stuff internally but you do have to understand how the clipper works and how it performs is that's where it really matters how it looks it definitely matters too and i honestly feel like this got a lot of pushback due to the red ones and how outdated they look and i had to be honest i really didn't want them um i was gonna get them just to have them because you know wanted to be the first people to get them to review them however i am glad that i waited a little bit to get the black and the silver ones because these bad boys these these things are nice now let's talk about the battery life. Now the battery life is really not the best. I mean, they kept it old school on some things that we wish they didn't because it being 90 minutes of a runtime is, um, it's kind of foreign nowadays with all the other companies and brands and what they're doing is giving us a longer runtime. And it would have been nice for them to give us a different runtime. But if you know anything about fast feeds, um, they came out uh and it seems like the, all the older um companies do this they will come out with this clipper four times or three times and it'd be the same as that clipper but they'll call it something different because you have the original fast feeds then you have the fast feed tow pads and then you have the speed line fast feeds so i wouldn't be surprised if they come out with a different version of these same as that clipper but just something a little bit different maybe the runtime will be different next time but 90 minutes um it's, it's not the best but it is what it is they kept it old school in that way just wish that wasn't one of the versions they kept old school all right the next section i would like talking about it is the guard system now i don't even know how far in depth i'm going to go when it comes to this guard system that asu comes out with they're they were better off not even giving us guards um because nobody's going to use them because their guards i don't think i have ever seen anybody use osters uh guards now what we do use is and this double magnet guards we're able to use that and this guard system and 90 percent of the times that's what people are using i can honestly probably say like 98 percent of the times but when it comes to the guard system oster definitely doesn't have a true guard system they just i don't even know why they, they put them in a box but i guess they did it just to say they did it but you could definitely tell that they didn't put no thought into the guard system. Now, it would have been dope if they would have came out with some new guards, but um, I don't think their attention is much uh, in the clipper industry right now. But they do know that, that this clipper, we was looking for and we was waiting for it. And it seems like they was so focused on the internals that they didn't think of accessories. The next thing I like to talk about is the packaging. The packaging, okay it's one of those same things that i was it's one of those things i just said about keeping it old school and it seems like they kept it so old school that we wish they didn't and i'm gonna show y'all because i have a few right here i have a few boxes and i'm gonna show y'all now this is oster's fast feeds box and honestly this seems to be more updated than the ones they just came out with. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now, this looks old school and it is old school. So the speed lines, it looks definitely old school. And these are the guards I'm talking about. Nobody use those guards, bro. Nobody. But um, this looks OK as well. But you could definitely tell this is old school now. This is the new school. 
Yeah. This is the new school. So this look like they came out. This look like they came out the same year. But that's just that's just me. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But these this box looks more updated than this box. You be the judge. But look at this. These are cordless, newest ones, 2022, probably 1995. I'm just, just, I'm just saying, like they definitely could have, they could have, they could have did better. That's all I'm saying. Like you can feel fast fees on this. Now, now some people care about all that, and some people don't. They don't care about the box. They just want to get a clipper that's going to work. So, in the next section, I am going to talk about performance. So let's get into these videos that I have. And usually with my concise reviews, I show you a quick clip on how they cut, but I'm gonna show you multiple of textures of how these Oster Fast Feeds cut some hair. Now, this is the part where um, we, are, we are hoping that they perform like the OGs because even the OGs, they can cut through bulk. They can cut through almost anything and everything. Now, this being a cordless clipper, and it has that pivot lever arm it's not going to be uh it's they made it not fast um definitely one of the fastest uh clippers that you could be using to be cutting through some bulk however it is proficient it is powerful and it it does cut through bulk like it is nobody's business and i'm going to show you guys right here some may say that this is a 4c and i'm just letting the blade do its work and now I'm about to grab, I believe, a two guard or one and a half guard. And I'm just about to go up. Now, it does snag a little bit right here. Not snag, but it pulls a little bit because, like I said, his hair is really, really curly. But once you get past the first part of it, man, this thing cuts good. And that's what I wanted to show y'all just to see how well these things cut through almost every texture of hair and now i'm going to show you another texture of hair that i've done that i'm like man i didn't know that it can cut hair like this so let's look into this other clip that i have so my client has straight uh blonde hair and you know with blonde hair sometimes it can get real light real fast depending on uh, what guard that you have so i'm just showing you guys like these they're not missing a beat they're they're definitely just cutting through his hair easily and i'm going to i'm going to be able to shape it how i want to without keep going over uh the same thing and i and, and i know when these first just came out i know a lot of people said that they had to keep going over the same area multiple times i mean they're not the fastest however they perform really well now this is another client of mine he has like straight curly hair but I, I'm just showing you this how efficient they are. Like, there's not much that I have to do to make this this fade even blend. I'm, not, you know, to y'all, y'all might it might look like I'm going over things, but but I'm, but I'm really I'm really not. I'm just just getting, you know, I'm just tweaking it. But this didn't take me no more than 15 to 20 minutes to do this haircut. So. If, if you use the fast feeds before and you know how to cut with them, you will definitely know how to use these and these are cordless. So honestly, this can speed up your time just a little bit, but it's not to speed up your time. It's just to give out great blends and cut down bulk. Now, this is um, the, the next texture of hair that I have. This guy, uh, his hair texture is that it's that bulk, but it's straight, it's straight hair bulk and it's real, real thick. And these cut through it like it's nothing. Just going straight up, no snag, no nothing. And that's a beautiful thing to have because there is some cordless clippers that when the hair is so thick, it does snag. But you don't have to worry about it when it comes to uh, the cordless seniors, Magic Clips, Rebels, and these. Those are the only four clippers to me that is out right now that I have not even felt a snag on due to the fact that how how they're made and this is another client same type of hair texture and I'm just going up and having no problem with it 
Now, I did zero gap these clippers, and I'm gonna show you a clip of how these work. Zero gap, and what I use right after that, because um, they get close. They do get close, uh, you know, a good amount. They get real close to the trimmer. But uh, it, to me, it seems like it. this made it a lot faster due to the blade being a bigger. And I just go right uh, behind that with my with my shaver. And um, I, I didn't need to use my trimmer at all. Now, some people already cut like this, but I just wanted to show you guys that once you zero gap these, you, you, you can use less of your trimmer when it comes to zero gap in uh, any of your in any of your face. Now I want y'all to watch the rest of this clip just to see how well they perform on waves as well. Um, like I said, fast speeds always did good with waves. We're just you know laying hair down. That's what they you know they're really good at that. So I just want y'all to see how how well uh, these waves uh, lay down. For the next thing I like talking about, it is the design. And as I said before, uh, they definitely work more so on the, the insides, the internals of this clipper. But the design, honestly, is not that bad. I can only speak for the one that I have, the silver and the black. But this is definitely the modern version out of the two. And if you do get these, you'll understand uh, how these feel. They do feel premium. They do feel, you know, like the modern version. Uh, I know a lot of people have been talking about this lever right here. I honestly like the lever. I like how it opens and closes. Um, and due to the fact that me probably having big hands, this definitely is not a problem for me. So one thing I, I really don't care for is the, the on and off switch. It's just a little bit uh, loose, but I could deal with that. So it's not that bad. I do like the fact that on the back it has ridges and there's this like groove right here on the clipper so when you're doing like waves let me show you like this when you're doing like any waves or you're going down like this you could just place your thumb right here and it really holds the clipper really well so to me i don't have a problem with the design definitely like the design it's just a little bit longer than the originals but it's not that much of a difference i think these are probably about the same length if not just a little bit shorter than the caliber bmgs and the Oscar octanes i know are definitely longer than these so that's a little bit about the design i like i said i honestly think that everybody should probably get the black and the silver ones other than the red ones because the red ones just look outdated just like the box one of the last things i like talking about it is the blade and i'm so glad this is one of the things that i wanted to keep the, you know to the T um, was the blade because I love Oscar fast feed blades now when I'm saying blades I'm not just talking about the top blade I'm talking about the top blade and the cutting blade because that cutting blade with this top bl blade it really really matters um, because th this is how it performs to give out one of the best cleanest fades and also help with bulk due to the the high performance of this cutting blade um, most detachables use this type of cutting blade so that should let you know that this can get some get some hair through it and cut it really well so i'm so glad that they kept the the og blades on the cordless fast fees and they didn't switch this up all right everybody so we got to the end of the video and thank you all for this staying this far in the video with me and we are going to talk about the concise review is this a clipper that's going to stay on my station or is it not? Is this something that, you know, I can pass up on? And for me, even though I'm a fast feed person, I'm definitely going to say yes, it has room on my station, but I can't say this. This is the number one clipper in 2022. And I might be a shock to some people, but it definitely has room on my station. I do like the fast feeds, but will I say this is top? Uh, top uh, top two maybe but it might just be top three because this might sound surprising but I still have the Rebels number one um, because to me they're basically everything what this Clipper can do but with the power and they don't have this exact blade they do have a great uh, 
lineup of steel blade and cutting blade. I just like this one. I like the style of this blade more, but it doesn't mean that it's more efficient. So the Rebel still to me is number one, but this basically lands around, you know, within a top three mark. Um, you can vary however you want to, but to me, I do like the Asta Fast Feed, the cordless ones, the black and silver version, and they definitely have room on my station. Now, will I get two of them? Probably not. I'll probably get two Rebels before I get two of these Fast Feeds, but I will probably keep these, use these whenever I feel like, you know, just a different feel of a clipper in my hand, you know, with a different haircut. I might probably use this on waivers, tapers, and some skin fades. And the Rebels I'll probably use for everything and that's what i have for the Asta fast fees the coolest version definitely a clipper that we all been waiting for for some time and i'm i'm glad that they did finally come out let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section and stay tuned i have a few more videos coming up back to back and i also have a new uh i have a new series that i'm doing as well so stay tuned please make sure you guys subscribe and god bless